This tutorial is going to talk about a strategy for doing some site plan diagrams. We're going to look at an example from Field Operations and Tongva Park in Santa Monica, California. They had three different design proposals for their community workshops, this being the one that was the inspiration for the final design. You can see through this we've got a site plan, uh, a diagram of the different components and spaces on top of that. What we're really going to look at is this layer diagram that they used for the community workshop and replicate uh, this approach for site plan diagrams. In here this is really impactful when you're uh, starting to compare different design proposals and as you can see here the different hardscape, softscape, and canopy for the different design proposals. Now more than just the site plan, uh, the diagrams on top of this, uh, the design proposals also included uh, some conceptual modeling, different types of inspiration in terms of planting and programming and of course perspectives to supplement that. But we're specifically going to look at this approach to uh, a layer diagram for site plans. We're going to do that through uh, Adobe Illustrator and looking at this rendered site plan that we have in Photoshop as the example for doing that. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is take this Photoshop site plan, the PSD file in particular, and bring it into uh, Adobe Illustrator in an 11 by 17. We're going to place three of these across here and we'll do that by going to File Place. And we'll navigate to that PSD file right here. We'll say Place. We'll place it in. We'll have to zoom out. We'll grab the corner and holding shift we want to bring this in and make it about the size of a third of the page here. Now I also want to mask out or clip some of the edges here so I'm going to click the mask button up top and pull in the edges just a little bit on each side. What I'll also do is I'm going to grab the selection tool and hold down option on my Mac or alt on a PC, drag it over and hold shift so that I can pull these in in alignment. Do that one more time so I can get my third piece right here. Now sometimes uh, these are going to get pretty close but I want to select all three and I want to use uh, horizontal distribute center and that way it will allow me to adjust these to where they're evenly spaced. With all three of them selected what I'm going to do is grab the corner and again still holding shift make sure that they sort of fill the page here. Now, this is going to be the starting point for my diagrams. But the next step is to go back into Photoshop and we're going to create these three different layers. We're going to create the hardscape, softscape, and canopy layers. And uh, provided that you have good layering in your Photoshop file, it should be as easy as just turning off layers. We'll demonstrate that by turning off a few of these layers, but I'm going to keep all the trees or the canopy on here. So we'll turn off a lot of this content. And we should have just the tree canopy left. Now there's times uh, if you want to mimic exactly what they've done here, they're just going to keep uh, the canopy by itself, but there might be an instance where uh, you want to keep uh, a building outline or some sort of element that's going to help you sort of understand the, the context for all the diagrams or a common piece that's going to link them all together. So I'll leave that on here. At this point we're going to say save as and we're going to save it as a JPEG file. In this case I'm just going to name it um, after Ben Gunter who actually is the one who did this one and then just add canopy and making sure that we save it as a JPEG. So I'll do that for all three layers. I've actually already done that for this particular file. Once you've done those three layers what we're going to do is select each of these and relink the file with that JPEG file. So I'm going to go over here. We'll start with hardscape. We'll do softscape in the middle and then canopy as well. So I'm going to click on this right here come over to uh, my links panel, right? So if that's not up, it'll be window links right here. Uh, we'll see that the one we have selected here is highlighted here. I'm just gonna click relink. I'll navigate to the one that I wanna do first, which is gonna be my hardscape, and say place. The next one right here, we'll click on, we'll relink it as well, and we're gonna go to the softscape, and say place. And then our third one, we'll click on and go to uh, the relink button and say canopy. Now that's one quick way to make sure that we get them all the same size, the same scale, and we've got a common element that sort of ties these three together. 
Uh, some additional things beyond uh, just the titles for these that could be really helpful is certainly including details about maybe the plant palette that you choose uh, for the tree canopies, for the softscape, or even a material palette for this. It could also be a distribution uh, of percentages, uh, percent of the site, of uh, the project site that's going to be dedicated to softscape versus hardscape versus canopy. Some additional components beyond just the images might be a, a nice way to take this beyond a, a visual. This can certainly be helpful when you're going through multiple concepts like field operations was for Tongva Park. Um, and it can just be a great way to break down a site plan to uh, different components and, uh, and subcomponents to tell the more complete story of your site design.